guys welcome back happy pink wednesday so today i have a really 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 big haul for you guys um i guess it's because i didn't film sunday and i apologize uh so i kind of have like double the stuff because yeah this is insane i was just bringing up boxes from my living room and i told my husband i don't think i had this much so yeah um I have a Home Goods slash TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, okay, TJ Maxx haul. Um, I found some really good stuff. I am also going to um, show you guys um, the reel that I posted because I went shopping last week. Sorry, I keep looking this way. I'm trying to see what all I have. I have a Victoria's Secret haul. I have Ulta, I have some PR from Pixie and my Ipsy stuff. I have a new PR that I've never received before. And then I have Home Goods and TJ Maxx little haul from today. I have Coach. Um and girl, I don't even know what else, okay? I don't even oh, I have Stanley. <laughs> I just been shopping. I don't know what's wrong with me, but anyway. I hope y'all are ready for this haul. Grab a snack, grab a drink. I have nothing. Like, I literally came up here, and I know I'm going to start choking and need a water, but it's okay, because I got a fridge right there, right? So we'll grab something out of there. But yes, y'all, pause the video, go get your snack, go get your drink, because y'all are going to be here for, like, the next hour, at least, with me. And if you're new, then hi, I'm Evita. I film all things pink and girly, anything sparkly, blingy. I like bows. I like hearts. I like coquette vibes um i love the shop i like juicy i like hello kitty and yeah so if that's something you're into then make sure you hit the subscribe and if you're not new then welcome back girl so we are gonna start i was gonna start with the home goods and tj maxx because i am so excited to show you guys what i found but i'm not trying to save the best for last i promise but i'm surrounded by boxes so i want to get through some of the boxes so I could get them out of my way because I literally have no room. And I have this bag that's almost full of trash. I want to finish filling it up so I can get this out. Tomorrow is my garbage day here. So I just want to get all this out. We're going to start with this little tiny package um, because I already know what this is. I ordered something from Poshmark that has not restocked in the store. So let's just open that. I actually accepted the order already and gave them five stars without opening it because it's been here for a few days and i was like i'm not gonna open it until i film but i was like i hope the item's okay because i literally gave her a five but it's a small item it should be okay so she packaged it really well because it was in this little mailer and then she put one of those like padded envelopes inside of that. So double padding. And it's not even glass or anything. So that was nice. Oh, I thought she said with tags. The tag's not in here. But it is brand new and perfect condition. Anyway, I ordered the little Bridgerton pocket bag from Bath & Body Works. This literally has been sold out since the collection came out. Um, my bestie did get me the little wedding ring one, but this is the other one that I really had my eyes on and that I thought would be cute because it has pink and neutral tones and I thought it would be cute hanging off of a lot of the little juicy shoulder bags. And yeah, I just, it would not come back in stock and it was driving me nuts. I literally stalked the website and I've been into two different Bath and Body Works trying, hoping that I would find one. I was even digging, girl, like opening their drawers and digging towards the back. Like maybe they're just too lazy to put some more out. Maybe they're in, in here, but no, couldn't find it. So she was selling it for a good price. Um, I actually had sold something on my Poshmark, so I had a $12 credit. I think she had it listed for 17 and I offered her 15 and she accepted. So I only paid like three or four dollars because my twelve dollar credit from what i sold so it's kind of like i did a trade with somebody you know so that was nice so yeah so i'm happy i finally have that okay okay let's see what i got from Ulta because i really don't remember oh it's a perfume i know it's a perfume anyway let's just go to Ulta. 
Um, so I had posted a video. Um, was it Mother's Day or birthday? One of the items my husband got me was. Oh my gosh, these are going to be the cutest. He had bought me the Giorgio Armani My Way perfume. And I was saying how I really enjoyed that. And one of you guys commented that you really like the peach My Way, the peach nectar, I think. And that instead of a navy blue top, it has a pink top. And you guys had said, if you like the original one, then get that one. So that's what I did. I said, okay, well, if you say it smells good, then I'm going to get it. So... I went on Ulta and I had it in my cart and I did have some points not that many because this was like over a hundred dollars they had different sizes I of course I got the I think this is a three ounce yeah it's three ounces and the reason I got this size was because my husband got me the three ounce of the other one and if they're next to each other I just wanted them to be like you know cohesive and like you know look the same so this is what it looks like so pretty with the clear top the other one literally it looks like this but the top is all navy blue not see-through um yeah let's smell do you guys hear that i'm not all stuffed up right now i probably will be after i start spraying stuff but right now i can breathe I'm, I just sprayed it on the box. I'm going to let it uh, sit for a second. So, I don't know why I'm saying peach nectar. It's called nectar. My way nectar. But maybe um, one of the notes I read said it might have peach. I'm not sure where I'm getting peach nectar. But. Ooh. This does smell really good. Okay, I want to smell. I want to smell it on me. So, I'm going to spray a little bit on me. It does smell really nice. And I'm going to tell you guys in one second why I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought it. Ooh, yes. Ooh, I actually like this one probably better than the first one, the one he got me. But I do like that one too. I actually have been wearing it a lot. That's why I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get this one because I've been wearing it a lot. That smells really good. Okay, so... When I was on there, they had a free gift. And I really like mini perfumes. And they said spend, I think it was $100 and get the mini for free. But you guys, I got not one mini, but two. I got the original and the nectar in the mini. Look how cute these are. I can't wait to see the, bo the bottles. You're freaking kidding me. Why are mini, mini everything just the cutest? Shut up, you guys. Look at, look at how cute they are. They're literally so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So, yes, I spent $100, $120, I think, just for these minis. I wanted these minis so bad that I was like, I'm going to order the perfume don't us girls we do the silliest things like oh yeah like if i had a went and shopped for these these are probably like 10 or 15 dollars i could have probably bought these for 30 but no let me spend 120 to get them for free <laughs> when i think about it i'm like that's not really that funny but anyway these are the kind that you like go like that and just like dab yourself i don't know why i'm smelling it like oh my god the bottle's so cute Oh, I love this. You guys, by the way, um, the original My Way is not anything new at all. It's been around. I just, it's new to me. It was one, like, if you guys ever do a Google and just type in, like, all-time best women fragrances, that's always, like, in the top, I don't know, 10 or something. And I was like, you know what? I always see that I don't have it in my collection. I want it in my collection. So that's why I originally asked my husband for it um, for Mother's Day or my birthday. I can't remember which one he got it for. Um, but, yeah, that was the reason I got it. And then I do believe the nectar is new, though. Um, I just don't know how new. But the original one, that's been out forever. 
All right, I don't think I need my receipt because I don't think I'm going to return this. However, see, you guys, this is the problem with being a content creator. Um, you always want to film content, and I do want to throw these boxes away, but I also was thinking of filming a little Ulta haul, so probably going to have to save this until after I do my haul. I'm just going to start lining up this stuff right here, but... Like I said, I don't need the receipt, and I don't really need this box either because I have an Ulta bag that I'll just put it in and act like I went in store, even though everybody knows I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> oh, speaking of going to the store and being lazy, have you guys seen the new Michael's French Manor collection? It is so pretty i literally want the whole collection but obviously i'm not getting the whole collection but i did place an order online um i ordered a few pieces and i have to go in store for another few pieces because they're they're like there's two colors of certain items and it says that they will ship you a sorted color like you can't select pink and of course i want it in pink so there's possibility i might get a blue one so I don't want the blue one, so I'm going to go on source for the other pieces. But I did place an order. Um, I'm sure you guys, I said, have you guys seen it? I'm sure you guys all have seen it by now. It's been out for a few days now. Um, but I did order the sign that said Queen's Chamber because I was thinking of putting it above my door. I thought that would be super cute because, um, you know, I'm a queen. You're a queen. We're all queens. And these are our chambers. So I thought that was super cute. Um, anyway, enough of that. We'll talk about that when I actually have stuff to show you guys. But um, let's open this box from Pixie. I already know what it is because a lot of the girlies got it. And I was trying to be, I always try to be surprised. But when I'm scrolling, I see people doing their unboxings. And I'm like, oh, cute. I can't wait to open mine. But yeah, so it's not a surprise, even though I'm just now opening it. So they always send the cutest packaging. I swear, when I first started getting PR from them, like, like, at least 10 years now I don't know maybe not 10 maybe like seven or eight but I used to save every single box and yeah I, I I had to stop because I was I had no room for stuff that I was buying because I just had empty boxes on shelves but look at how pretty like tell me this isn't keeping worthy but I'm not gonna keep it but anyway this is some of their rose goodies which I'm so excited about because you guys they sent a really large bottle of their rose tonic and that's i don't know the rose tonic and the glow tonic they're very um they're both my like top number ones and then the other ones that they have the milky tonic and all those there's a purple one i don't know if it's called lavender or calming or something but the rose and the glow are my favorite so i'm so excited to have this bottle 8.5 ounce of the rose tonic it basically is rose and elderflower. It's a nourishing toner. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. It's a toner and it smells like roses and it's very um, gentle. And then they sent over the Rose Plus Radiance Perfector Skin Illuminating Enhancer. That's what the packaging looks like. And, ooh, I'm not sure if I have this or if there's a new product the the rose toner obviously isn't um, oh no I do have this I've tried this before I don't know if I have the rose one or if I have the original one though basically it says it's rose infused complexion enhancer creates a soft focus glow to give skin and even radiant finish you solo or under makeup for added complexion complexion perfection so to me it sounds like a primer right so i got that and then this looks really cool this is the glowy lip oil conditioning lip oil i do not have this and i have not tried this so i don't know if this is a new item but I saw this in um, Lindsay's unboxing and I was like, oh my gosh, it reminded me, let me double check if it is, yes, it's like 
the old school little roller balls that we used to use lip smackers like are you serious they literally came out with one of these pixie bit like we were all obsessed with these if you're like an 80s baby or a 90s baby you know what these are these are so freaking cool so it's conditioning lip oil that's all it says glowy i don't know i kind of had stuff on before i started filming so but this is really cute packaging. I'm obsessed with the green and pink. You guys ignore my nails. Aria was eating blue Takis. And I had to taste a couple just to make sure they weren't too hot for her. Because she swore they weren't. And I got it under my nail and I can't get it out. Like those things. Sorry, my tongue's blue. I wanted to see if it was still blue. And it's still blue. Like that blue is kind of scary. But yeah, so really excited about these. Thank you to Pixie as always. And of course, I have the film content for this. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of this box. I'm all like, let's get through the boxes first so that I can throw them away as I put everything behind me. I just stabbed myself with the scissors. Okay, next, I got PR for the first time from... Uh, Pacifica I've never received anything from them and they reached out to me they had a new campaign coming up and asked me if I wanted to be a part of it and of course I said yes because it looked like a really good um, item so let's see if it's if, I don't know if they sent just the item that was in the campa campaign or if there's more I know that they seal the heck out of this box and I'm trying not to stab myself. I can't figure out how to open it. So give me a second, y'all. Also, I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but my daughter and husband are in the room next to me playing. So Alright, I got the box open. I'm gonna drop it on the floor because my address is like all over it pull the items out so this is there's no papers in here I just noticed so these are the items they're the new glow baby uh, line let me just double check but there's no okay so I don't know if it was all in the email um, not sure when this came out or if it's out. I hope it's out. But this is their new Glow Baby Eye Bright Cream. And it says it's fragrance free. Get the look of brighter, less puffy, hydrated skin. It has vitamin C, caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and apple fruit extract. That sounds good. I've tried a few Pacifica products before. Um... This is so cute. It literally looks like a little jar of like lip mask. I'm like, I thought it was going to be a lip mask, but this is what it looks like. The eye cream. Obviously, I'm not going to put it on any right now, but I will be using this stuff and let you guys know how I like it. And y'all know, I say it every time I get a new eye cream mama needs an eye cream so i will definitely be using that um next they sent over i was excited about these these are the glow baby brightening pill pads um 100 vegan and cruelty free they're 60 pads i hear they have 10 percent ha and bha so you guys know what these are they're just like I'm sure, yeah, that they have a thing, but it's just like a cotton pad drenched in, like, skincare that you can just go all over your face with. So, it says, a fast-acting multi-acid complex facial pill to exfoliate, retexturize, and clean out pores, brighten the skin. Infuse with lactic, glycolic, and salicylic acid, along with niacinamide and apple fruit extract. That sounds amazing stop falling and then um, I just got a whiff 
of the perfume and I'm like, ooh, that smells so good. And then lastly, I got their Glow Baby Serum. Looks like that. Cute. I like the little Summer Vibes packaging, the little orangey. Um, so this says booster serum with gly glycolic acid and vitamin C. I've been um, getting more into serums a lot lately, so I'm excited about all of this. I will let you guys know what I think about all these new products as soon as I give them a try. I have some other uh, products down here too that I have to try, so I'll let you guys know. I don't know if I'm, I need the box for that real um let's see what else we got guys we'll do this one later depending how long the video is because i have all months to film my ipsy um all right let's just open this so next i got my stanley order and you know stanley is just they know what the girls like now they know that they can just drop new colorways at any time and we're just going to go crazy and buy everything. So, that's what ha happened. So, I have here two tumblers. Wait, 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 wait. Let me explain, okay? Before y'all start getting all crazy. Um, one's for me and one's a gift, Okay. Uh, my best friend's birthday was a few days ago, and me and her are actually supposed to be going out for dinner. I had to reschedule. We were supposed to go out yesterday, actually, and I had to reschedule because I had something going on, but um, one of these is for her, and I'm not sure if she watches my videos, so Sue, or Ella, that's her daughter, if y'all are watching right now and I have not given this to you yet, can you please pause the video and stop being nosy? I think her daughter watches me, so that's why I'm like... Eh. I can't even open this. I wish the box said which one was which. Because I am going to show you guys the color that I got her. Which, by the way, is a color I would never. I would never have for myself. No, I'm just joking. So, um, m my friend Sue is a purple lover. And we always tease each other because I like pink and she likes purple. And she's like, purple's the best. I'm like, pink's the best. We've been going at it for years about that. Um, so, last time I saw her, she had, I think, a tan one, and, yeah, so, when I saw this, like, pretty lilac-y color, I was like, oh, that's totally Sue, so, I got this one for her, and I hope she likes it. So, I don't know if I need to put this all back in a thing, I'm just gonna put it in a gift bag, it's probably easier in this bulky box. <laughs> Alright, and now do they have the names on? I was like, I wish it, oh, it did have the names on the bottom. Oh, so let me see what the name of the color is. So I can, it's called Lilac. <laughs> That's what I said. Alright, um but yeah, I'm just joking. I would probably no, I probably wouldn't. I was going to say I would probably use it, but no, I wouldn't. That's that's actually a pretty shade of purple, but why would I buy a purple one when I can have pink? Hmm. Duh. Why would I buy purple when I can have pink? Look at how pretty this one is. Yes, I know. I have like five or six different shades of Stanley pinks by now. But I needed this peony color. This one is peony. And I like this little 
this looks like it's going to match the juicy purses, the one that's like that raspberry purse. So I feel like this is going to be the Stanley that I use when I use my raspberry juicy purses for sure. Um, yeah. You guys know what? I actually am using the limited edition pink parade in the 30 ounce. And I think I like 30 ounces more than the 40. The 40 is starting to get very heavy when it's full. It's a little bit bulky. And the 30 ounce is still a lot of uh, water. Like I drink water. It's still a lot of coffee. 30 ounces versus 40. Um, it's probably better that I drink 30 and not 40. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I wish I had ordered this in a 30. Because I think I like the 30s more than the 40s. Even though... My whole collection is 40 ounce minus the pink parade and I have like a tie-dye one um, in the 30 but yeah. I think I'm going to start buying only 30s from here on out. But yeah, these I ordered from the Stanley website. I was going to say from Dick's Sporting Goods but no, it was from Stanley. All right, all right, moving straight along. Oh gosh, I just have so much stuff. Okay, let me show you guys this. Let's do um, kind of like a friend mail, I guess. So my friend Tanya, is there my address on here on this site? No, it's not. My friend Tanya was at one of the stores by her in California, either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I don't. It wasn't Ross. Um, and she came across a whole bunch of Juicy and she posted, does anyone want anything? And there was a bag that she showed that was one of many on my list. So I told her, yes, yes, me. So she picked it up for me. Um, and this is it. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. You guys, I have such a long list i'm having the hardest time finding all the bags that i want um and i'm starting to lose patience honestly what oh my god you guys she sent so much stuff inside of this box what are you kidding me stop you guys, this this is not just a purse inside of this box. I and mean, Hello Kitty is right on top. And from Impressions Vanity, I didn't even know they had this. This is so cute. Twelve piece sponge set, and they're shaped like little Hello Kitties. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. Do you guys see these? Look at the face. What so they say that they're good for liquid cream makeup, hyperallergenic, reusable, vegan, and cruelty free. So, like a makeup sponge. What I didn't even know that they made those, those are super cute. Okay, I feel like it's Christmas right now because why, why do I have all this stuff? Oh my god, you guys. She sent me some flower nose stuff. I've been wanting to try this brand for so long. I have absolutely nothing from them. Look at how pretty that is. You guys, this is so pretty. Like, look. Look at the little bow. This is so pretty. I don't, I don't know what it is. Hold on. Okay, it is a lip gloss. It says Flower Nose Strawberry Rococo Series Glowy Lip Gloss in Blackberry Jam. This is so pretty. Ooh, look at what it looks like when you pull it out. Oh, okay. This is cool how the packaging looks like it's going to come out that color. But look, that's pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. I have nothing by this and I, I wanted something. Even if I don't use it, I wanted to put it on my uh, vanity. And then she sent oh, a mirror. No, the mirrors are the prettiest. 
It has strawberries on it. Oh my gosh, Tanya, seriously. I don't even know if she watches my videos. Um, but seriously, this is too sweet of you. Like, I'm so happy right now. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I could stop right now and just be like so grateful. Oh, she had told me um, that she was going to put some something in the bag. And she's like, I don't know what I can send you that you don't already have. She's like, because I know you have a lot of stuff. But seriously, she really outdid it. And then she sent this Physicians Formula Bronzer. Which is funny because I also get Physicians PR. And I don't have this. So she really did send stuff that I don't have. And I love Physicians Formula. Like everything. So this is a bronzer and a blush. From that Healthy Glow. So that's what the little compact looks like. These are always too cute to use. Like, look at look at that. And most of them are like an overlay. So once you start swirling your brush, then it all goes bye-bye. But that is really pretty. I was trying to see if it smells. Because they always smell like, you know, the butter bronzer and stuff. It does smell good. It, it, yeah, because it's the Murumuru. I can never say that. Maru. Merle Merle butter stuff. You guys, there's so more in here. Like, I honestly feel so bad. Like, opening all this because I'm like shocked. So, she sent over some of these. Um, I keep seeing everyone use these. Maybe I'll try these because y'all know I don't really know how to put falsies on. But I think these are easier to apply the like little singles. So she sent over two of these by Kiss. And I've seen someone putting these on in a video recently. And she made it look so easy like putting on the little individual ones. So maybe I will have better luck with that. Oh there's one more set. There's um, Kiss Lashes, the Muses Collection. I like the name. And these are by, um, these are the Duchess style. I have something that Kiss um, is in this packaging, but I can't remember what it is. And I don't remember where I got it either. <laughs> but I know I have something like that. Um, and then... This is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. This is actually really good. I used to use this brand, Scandinavia, all the time. It's really, really good. Uh, setting spray. Then there's the Foscara. This is the... This is the, the, the stuff, right? Hold on. Overnighter Lash Extensions Effect. Apply a thin line under wisp. I don't know. I thought this was the glue. Overnighter is in addition to the Foscara system for extended wear. I don't know, but it's by Kiss and it's that same brand as the lashes, the Foscara. So I think it's like the liner that you put on, like the glue. Oh, and she sent some of these um, marine collagen eye gels, the Mari. I actually have a bunch of these in my skincare fridge. These are really good. Um, they have super cute designs. Oh, she sent me more. So, there's another pack. And then she sent me some of the Grace and Stella. All oh, these are pink. Those are super cute. I'm going to put those straight in my eye. My eye. My eye fridge in my skincare fridge can y'all see i'm discombobulated because i'm so excited and then she sent over a pixie hydra lip treat a tinted lip balm by pixie and nectar you guys know i get a pr from pixie too but i'm not sure if i have this my eyes are starting to get foggy you guys so excuse my squinting um but this is what the packaging looks like. 
I cannot remember if I have this. I feel like I do, so I'm not going to swatch it just in case I do. I will uh, give this one away if I have it. But I think this is the... It says lip balm, but I think this is multi-use. I think you can use it as a blush, too. If I'm not mistaken. Hold on, guys. My eyes are literally hurting so bad right now. Alright, and then... I think this is the last thing besides the purse. And then I can show you guys the bag that I got. Um, but she sent some Rare Beauty goodies. So, this is... I think this, is it like... Is this one of those brush cleaners? Hold on, let me look at the bottom. Yeah, it's a dry brush makeup cleaner. So, I've used these before, not from Rare Beauty. I didn't even know they make them. But you basically just take your eye brush and you just rub it along here. And it literally cleans the top of your brush. And it really works. I'm looking for a dirty brush. I had some, but I think Aria actually, actually it was playing with my dirty brushes. Um, but they're really good for eyeshadow when you want to do like a color switch. If you're using like black and then all of a sudden you want to go with pink, you just roll it around in here. So that's really cool. I didn't know Rare Beauty had it and it comes in this cute little tin. And then some little minis by Rare Beauty. There's a uh, Perfect Strokes universal volumizing mascara i have this in a full size this is really good let me see how cute the packaging is or if it's cute because mini everything is cute oh my goodness it literally is super cute it's just like the packaging of the big one it has a little logo on the top and then there's a soft pinch tinted lip oil in Delight. Look at how small this is. Oh my gosh. Let's see what this one looks like. So I have a lot of her lip oils. Um, the Rare Beauty ones. But I don't think I have this color Delight. Oh, this is cute. So looks like that. The little mini. Perfect for the purse size. My daughter is so loud right now, guys. I'm so sorry if you guys can hear that. But, I gotta check my eyes. Alright, I can see now. Um, I'm, I'm still in the process of figuring out what's going on with my eyes. I actually have another appointment tomorrow. But, um, I'm still getting, like discharge and sometimes I just have to like um, wipe it out and then I can see again because it kind of is like a film it glosses over my eyeball and I can't see until I get rid of it so I'm good now all right are you guys ready to see the purse oh my god you are beautiful I just want to hug you y'all ready it's my very first tan and pink combo this is the color way that i have like seven bags that i want so i basically want the heritage bag that's cafe colored with the perfect pink and it has you know the heritage design like the old school um kind of old school vibes i'm looking for that in this style in this same bowl or style and then i'm looking for it they also have it in a little shoulder bag i want it in a shoulder bag then they have a barrel bag that's velour that's all cafe color and then it says juicy and like i don't know what kind of font but not this font it says juicy in pink writing i want that one and then there's a camera bag there's literally but i'm so happy to have this one because i don't have anything in the cafe and this color they also have this one in that style right there the like i forgot that what that was called like fastinista something um but they make that in this too but 
I just wanted this one in the bowl. It's so cute, you guys, with the pink straps. And then it comes with the bigger strap. I probably won't use this bigger strap. This is the, the one that's really thin. Um, and I don't really care too much. But you do have to, if you're not going to use it. I can either just leave it hanging like this or just cut it off. Which I probably will cut it off because I just am going to be using it like that. Um... And then, y'all know, same old, same old, boring, black and white on the inside. One of these days, we're going to open a purse, and it's going to be pink in there, and we're all going to lose our stuff. I was going to say S-H-I-T, but I'm trying not to use so many words on my channel, because I, I was looking at my analytics, and I have a lot of younger girls, so I'm trying to be, um, oh my god, it's pink on the bottom! That just made my day. Like, I thought this was all tan. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm going to be looking at the bottom of the purse. But I know that it's pink down there. That is so cute. I wish it had little gold feet, though. Can you add feet to a purse? I mean, clearly you can because that's how they're created. But I'm going to order some feet and add them to all of my bags because, like, it makes sense. Like, I don't want the pink to get dirty. If it was brown, it probably wouldn't look so bad, but it's pink. Anyway, here's the tag in case you guys want to know the actual Juicy name and how much it costs a Juicy. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. Again, I don't know if you watch my videos, Diane, but thank you so much for being so sweet and picking this up and sending it my way and for sending me all the extra goodies you send. You're so sweet, so thank you. Thumbnail. I don't like that one. I look tired and I am tired. That's why. I'm very tired. Alright. We're running out of space, you guys. So we're gonna put that over there. Alright, let's just go with another bag while we're at it. I got a new bag from Coach. And I'm sure y'all might be wondering or thinking y'all know what it is. I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing a cherry shirt. But it's not a cherry bag. <laughs> I'm so silly. Um, no, seriously, it's um not from the cherry collection. It's something more coquette. And something that was way too much and not on sale. They wrapped up paper like this wasn't even in here in a way to protect the bag seriously okay so it came in this little um, dust bag very recycled friendly all right let's just get into the bag it's so small it's smaller than I thought oh my gosh so I did order this pretty little bow bag and now that it's here it is beautiful however I will say it's very small for the price I paid like I thought this was going to be bigger like this barely fits on my arm also just saying but yeah I think um I keep saying it was a lot guys this was like $300 I think it was like $295 so it comes with these little tags on the side but it is very pretty. But you guys know um, a lot of us have been buying bows and clips and adding them to our purse and giving it our own style. I wish I had a bag that was this color because I would just buy a bunch of pink bows, which I have been buying a lot of pink bows. And I would just add it to the bag myself, um, which is basically what... Uh, Janine was going back and forth whether she should buy this and she had just literally purchased a coach bag that was kind of this shape like the hobo like half moon shape and she said she's just gonna get pink bows and put on it which is smart because that bag was cuter and I think it's gonna look cute but yeah um, it's really cute it really is it just $300 oh my gosh so anyway let's see how she opens up So it just has this little snap on the top. Mm. 
it's so small you guys like so small i wonder if they're gonna come out with any other accessories like i don't know about you guys but i really like to have matching card holders or matching wallet to my handbags so i if i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna need a matching card holder clearly a wallet's not gonna fit in here so at least give me a little card holder but yeah i don't know guys what do you guys think should i keep it 300 dollars is a lot of money like you know how many juicy bags i could buy with 300 dollars like 20 dollar juicy bags like i could buy a lot of juicy bags like 15 of them <laughs> but yeah i think it's cute though did you guys pick it up are you guys gonna pick it up i know the last time i checked i posted in my stories it was still in stock so but don't get it um because i got it because i'm debating taking it back honestly all right let's see i'm gonna have to toss that over there because i'm running out of room you guys i'm trying to make my way to the home goods stuff so the home goods and the tj maxx stuff hold on all right so next let's open this package i got it's a small little victoria's secret haul i think this was part of their semi-annual sale so I clicked on and I know I didn't need anything because I'm trying not to buy like mainly from Victoria's Secret what I buy is clothing um, sprays lotions I'm trying to you know not buy so much of that stuff and most of the stuff that I buy is from the pink side and a lot of their like jogging sets which I don't need right now because it's summer but anyway so I still wanted to take a look and Y'all know I have big boobs, so I usually don't even look at the bras. But I know that they have been collaborating with other brands. Like how they have Love Shack Fancy on there. They also have other brands um, in the bra category. So, long story short, they had bras my size. Um, this brand, I think it's Elomi. Yeah, I've bought bras from this brand off of the Alomi website and off of Amazon. They're very pricey. They're like $75, $80 bras. And I keep trying to hide my little blue finger. Um, Yeah. So anyway, Victoria's Secret had them. Which, you guys, this is a huge rant that I have with Victoria's Secret. Y'all know how much money we spend with them. And the fact that a Victoria's Secret pretty bra does not come in larger sizes is very disappointing because it's like they have the money to make bigger sizes and cater to a whole nother like how much more money they would get if they catered to all sizes but they don't and it's very upsetting i almost boycotted shopping there but i just can't because they're so cute anyway i'm gonna show you guys the bras um because i mean it's just a bra you guys calm down um but yeah this is the bra it's hard to see but this is it has like this little sheer at the top and then the bottom is you know not sheer or whatever but it's really soft the strap looks different it has this like ribbing on it and this is what the back looks like you guys if you're curious this is a 34k so um it does have a cute little bow right there in the middle i don't know if you guys can see it but i was very excited because i don't have a lot of colored bras because like i said that size uh k cup is not common there's mostly white black tan so i was happy to find that um, i'm not gonna obviously get rid of the wrapping because i don't know but these were in the semi-annual so and i think they were like 20 to 30 dollars each which like i said they're like normally 75 80 dollars so i was like oh yeah and all of my bras right now are deciding at the same time to all start falling apart so i really needed some new bras so i was excited this one looks really nice this one's like 
double lined or something i've never seen this kind of a style like it's like a lace bra and it has this one like on the inside i guess i don't know i've never seen anything like this before um but yeah i have a dress that looks like this which is funny I wonder, do you take the beige off or does it just stay? I don't know. Um, this is called the Kelsey. But yeah, so that's this one. And then the last one that I got. Oh, this color is so pretty. I hope these fit me really good. So I can keep them all. Oh, this is so pretty. I got a pink bra finally you guys look at how pretty this one is so this one's like a kind of like a see-through but look at how cute this little pattern design is that's like up here y'all uh, uh, y'all are just gonna have to see the best you can like this I know some people do bra try-ons but y'all ain't getting no bra trying try on over here so but that's what it looks like and I love this shade of pink it's super pretty so yeah, so if any of my girlies that follow me are bigger than uh, Triple D, um, Victoria's Secret has some on their site right now. So that's very, very exciting. So I'm going to get rid of this bag because I don't need that. I'm going to save the receipt though. Okay, let's get into, let's get into the home goods stuff. If I have time, I'll show you guys the other stuff, but the video is getting long. So. Oh my god, this bag. Okay, that was the longest because I kept blinking my eyes. Were... So I have two bags just like this. Um, I'm going to start with the first one. And... The first thing I found was, and if I didn't already say it, I went into a TJ Maxx and it had a home goods connected, so it's going to be some of both. I found this Minnie Mouse Bowtiful LED Compact Mirror, and I got this for Aria because she has been trying to steal this Barbie mirror that Janine sent me. Um, this mirror is so perfect, and I know you guys have seen it. it does all that and Aria wants this and I found it in the store and it was $30 or was it 40 I don't know 30 or 40 is still too much for a kid in a mirror I was like you're just gonna play with it and break it so I found her a Minnie Mouse one and this one is the same thing like it's a tap tap and a rechargeable and it was on clearance for $13 and I, I feel better spending 13 on something that I know she's probably going to just want to play with so I'll take it out the packaging so you guys can see it and I've had this in my room since last week when I bought it so I haven't showed her yet so I'm excited to show her that I found her mirror Ooh, fun and it's two sided um, this one says two times so magnified cool so I got that for her and then on that same trip when I was there I did find a Barbie um, the one that's on the stand which I didn't even know they had that one but it was just like the one Janine got me but on the stand. Oh my gosh, I just turned around and saw that I have nowhere else to put this stuff. <laughs> okay. I found more bows and you know I got them. So these were by Sunday State. And there's a white one in this like fuchsia color. And they're ribbed. They have like this ribbing in them. They're so nice. They do come with the clips. And these were $6.99. And then how cute is this one, you guys? Oh my gosh. This one is my favorite. So this is like a light pink gingham. And then it has the cute little ruffles. I'm obsessed with this one. 
This one was $5.99. And you guys know I found the blue one with the gingham print that I said remind me of Bath and Body Works like um a while ago at Marshall's on like a previous haul. And this is also by Sunday State. So I got those. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this stuff back in the bag. And then guys, look at how cute these are. So my mouth dropped. This lady was um doing a display and she was doing like a strawberry themed display and out I was just like, oh, your display is so cute. Like, the worker. And she was like, thanks. And I was like, it's so perfect for summer, all the strawberries. And then I was about to start walking away. And then I was like, is that Hello Kitty? And then she was like, yeah. And I was like, wait, is that a double mug set? I was like, one for me and one for the bestie. So I thought this was really, really cute. Like, look how cute. It comes with pink and red strawberries on there and then she's holding one and look at the handles you guys it's a heart i was like so this is like a perfect summer mug and then i can also use it for sweetest day and valentine's and this set was 12.99 that is like a still so yeah so i don't need two mugs and i was just gonna split the set up and send one to janine um these do i believe look microwavable yep microwave and dishwasher safe i can tell by the material and it's a pretty big mug the inside of the mugs i believe are gonna be red oh no they're white they just have a red little rim but they're white on the inside so those are so cute like sometimes i'm not on a hunt for anything and then things just appear like i've never seen those i was just like wait what Okay, I had to go look at the pajamas. And you guys, I found the cutest little granny. <laughs> my little granny style sleep shirts that I'm obsessed with. Look at how cute this is. This is by the brand Body Touch. I got a medium. This is $12.99. Look at the details, you guys. Look at the details in this look at all of the little lace and ribbon i hope you guys can see it and then the the little neckline has lace going all around it and then the sleeves as well and then this is the pattern it's like these cute little pink floral it's so pretty even the buttons are like little flowers look at the buttons you guys they're not like a circle they're literally like a flower are you kidding me i'm wearing this one tonight and no y'all are probably like you're not gonna wash it first no i'm not i don't care i'm wearing it tonight and then this is the other one this one is like a light pink color with florals on there um pink on pink with some green and the sleeves are like the little short cap sleeves and it also has some little lace and ribbon detailing going on there this one is by Sophia Renee Rofe and this was also $12.99 and I got this one also in a medium so cute i love love sleep shirts so y'all know i'm not gonna go in nowhere near the clothing and not go look for aria something so i did find her more of these between little romper sets so this one's a cute little yellow romper with like a little I think it's like a little floral print in white and then this one was my favorite it's like pink with all these colorful flowers I love how they always have these little ruffles there and they always have a matching scrunchie to one of them and the scrunchie actually matches that one which is so cute this was $9.99 which is a really good price for two and this brand I'm telling you these are like butter like I wish all of my clothes felt like that okay guys 
I totally did not need this, but I needed it, okay? Like, what? What? OMG, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, this is the Hydro Peak Voyager 40 ounce eco-friendly stainless steel insulated tumbler. It comes with an extra straw and it comes with a little boot, you know, the little thing that you could put at the bottom so it doesn't scratch. That's this. You just slide it on there. It's like a little silicone rubber thing. But yeah, this was $24.99. It's like a creamish color with gold spots and you guys know how I feel about my animal print and I just feel like this is going to be perfect when fall comes around because I'm always wearing leopard um, everything in the fall like I could not pass this up this is just the cutest I love that it has a handle I love that it comes with the extra it, not only an extra straw but it even comes with a straw cleaner I don't know if you guys could see it um there but it does come with a straw cleaner um I have not used this brand Hydra Peak but it says it's 24 hours um it keeps your beverages uh cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours and it's a 40 ounce this is freaking beautiful I love this thing all right that's what was in the first bag let's move to the second bag sorry guys my nose I'm trying to catch it before it starts running down okay 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 so this is gonna be bag number two okay 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 Let's just let's just go in. I'm I'm not even about to like save the best. Like, guys, I did not even know that they had this speedy Belor bag in black. I saw it in pink, but I did not know they had it in black Belor. I love. Okay, so I think the speedy sal is like one of my favorite juicy bags. It gives me LV speedy vibes even though I keep calling it speedy and I think they call these satchels um yeah this is a satchel and juicy terminology but this is Louis Vuitton speedy um is what I call it but yeah this is a velour I do have a black speedy already with bling but it's like um pleather leather um it's not velour and it literally is like identical I'm looking at it because it's up there um, but yes, I needed it in the velour, okay? And then it does have like the utility strap that has the juicy writing on it. And I love that it's gold hardware on here. This was $24.99 and I'll show you guys the juicy tag if it's focusing. And it's in the color licorice is what they call this black color. And... Um, that's the zipper pull. It has a J on there. And yeah, no feet at the bottom. And boring black and white. But yeah, so happy. Like, these bags are so soft. Like, I don't know. It's just something about it. Like, I'm I'm going to be wearing this bag and just sitting in the car, like, rubbing it. Like, like it's genie in a bottle or something. Okay, that's not it, you guys. That's not it. I found the pink one. I found the pink one, you guys. I found the pink one first. And I was like, oh, did I just find this? I was, I literally was in shock. And I'm going to show you guys the other items that I found. And after I found those and this, I was done. I was like, I'm ready to go. I had the jackpot. We 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 did it. And then I was walking past the the black aisle and I found that one on the bottom of the shelf and I was like, "Are you kidding me? It comes in black too. I'm taking it." But yeah, I did find this one first and this one is that new pink that has everyone in the chokehold. This is the powder blush color. Um and these are called the Obsession Satchels, by the way. Super soft and yes, 
that powder blush is the color that I want all of my bags in right now. Um, it's powder blush um, and that cafe color are are the the like tan and pink that I'm looking for are the two color combinations. They call the brown cafe and then the pink is powder blush. But yeah, they have so many bags in this powder blush color um, that I'm on a hunt for too. So literally everyone is going crazy over this new pink because it's it's really really the perfect pink i know you guys hear that a lot like oh it's the perfect pink oh my gosh it's a perfect pink but no this powder blush it juicy got the message they understood the assignment and if i find the whole collection i will probably sell all of my other pinks and just keep powder blush in my collection because it, it really is even though I look at my mauve pink ones and I'm like, oh, but that pink matches some of the clothing. So I kind of need that one too. But if I had to choose and only have one color in my collection, it would be this one. This is so pretty. I am scared to use this one though because it's so light and the material, I feel like this is easily going to get dirty. So you have to be careful. Definitely do not wear this with any denim. Just denim and black get it out of your mind right now you're not you're gonna wear this with this color pink or you're gonna wear it with white or you're gonna wear it with a very light tan like you're not gonna wear this with black or denim okay girl okay don't be messing up this beautiful bag okay let me show you the two items that were sitting on the shelf just minding their business and then i walked in the store i had just walked in y'all i just walked in i got my cart i walk in i look over and i'm like <laughs> and like in two seconds they're both in my cart because i didn't know who was around i didn't know who was going towards them i just saw them and i like i blanked out I'm going to make that my thumbnail. No, but seriously, you guys. I have a heritage bowler bag in my possession. I never imagined I was ever going to find one because I just, I am not getting lucky. You guys, I also found it in the light pink that has like, I think the crown is red. And I like that pink. It's not powder blush, by the way. I don't think it is. Um, but that one is that red gives me Valentine's Day vibes because it's pink and red and like I feel like I'm only gonna want to use that for Valentine's Day so that one was just throwing me off I wish they did it with a brown because then that would give the old school vibes like the pink and the brown how they used to do a lot um, but yeah that red I'm just like no I, I'm not down with that one and I, I don't have anything against red. Like, I, I love a good red, but the pink and the red together, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. They could have did pink on pink or pink and brown, pink and black, but pink and red, no. no. I didn't like that. So, anyway, enough of that. But this is the juicy pink color, and I think they also have it with some black down here, and it might be a different shade of pink, but this is the juicy pink color which is the one that if I had to choose any of them, it was the one that I would have wanted because I like this colorway a lot. Um, this is a really pretty shade of pink. And um, this was $34.99. I feel like that was a lot. I feel like this should have been $29.99 maybe. I don't know. I, I Like I said, I haven't found bowler um, bags. Actually, the one... Dinosaur, I don't know where I threw that already. I wonder if the tag was on there. I think that one was $34.99 also, and it was a bowler. But yeah, I haven't um, bought a bowler style in a long time since I got the navy blue and pink one. And I think I bought that one on Poshmark. So, um, but yeah, look how pretty she is, you guys. And then this one comes with um, this kind of strap, which again is not like my favorite i probably won't use that i'm probably going to just use it like this um and i don't think i want this hanging it's very it's it's a cheapy strap so i'm probably going to have to cut this off here 
and then add another one unless I just get rid of ask my husband to take his wire cutters and take that off but yeah this is cute and it comes with a little heart it's nothing um too exciting it's just like a little flimsy little heart like um at least they gave us something okay so i i can't complain but yeah this is what the zipper pull looks like it has a heart i wish it was the bling heart that sometimes they put the bling on there like all rhinestones but it's a little hard and yeah i really like it a lot i'm happy i found it and then the duffel bag you guys i that's why I, i'm surprised this was 34 because it's a huge difference in the size and this was only five dollars more this was 39.99 and this thing is huge and it came with this little coin purse i don't know why a little coin purse will come with a duffel bag but i'm probably gonna put that in the purse um because it just makes more sense but this is a pocket here it's like the like a phone size pocket that you can set your phone down in and i found this in the light pink with the red as well and then today when i was there i found the black one the all black with the powder pink um corners and i i almost grabbed it and the straps were powder pink powder blush and I almost grabbed it, or were the straps black? I can't remember. I think they were pink, because I think that's how I found the bag, because I saw pink straps. But yeah, this is so cute. Um, No feet. I don't know why they don't put feet, especially on a duffel bag. It's like people are going to be putting this down on an airplane, at an airport, somewhere. But yeah, it does come with a really big strap that I need to adjust because and of course it's the basic black and white and it does have a little heart pull as well so cute I'm so excited to have these two bags in my collection so yeah so your girl finally found some really exciting juicy bags and then with the one Danya sent to you know what I don't like that in my picture okay y'all are probably like if she takes one more thumbnail picture I just don't know which one I'm gonna use okay alright let me show you guys quickly what I found today at Home Goods. I just said, y'all, this made me scream. Oh, man. I left the other thing downstairs, and I am not going down to get it. So, I found the My Melody and Karomi salt and pepper shakers. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about, or you probably don't, but just imagine. It's My Melody and Karomi. It's ceramic. It's a salt shaker. It was $9.99. They had so many sets. And um, when those first came out, because it's not the first time, I was not going to get them. I was like, I'm not, I don't have a Hello Kitty themed kitchen, so that's not going to work. But, you guys, I'm going to put my tahine in there because me and Aria literally use tahine on all our fruit. We've been putting it on um, corn elote with butter, and it's so good. I was like, you know what, I'm going to pour my bottle of tahine in there. So when we go to get the tahine, we're like using, you know, Karomi or my Melody. So yeah i got those for ten dollars anyway i was so excited to show her i took it out the bag and left it down there on the in on my kitchen island but you guys these made me so happy i literally i was on the phone with janine and i was like shut up right now y'all know i love my epsom sauce these are the limited edition dr till's cozy cashmere scent like i feel like that's gonna smell so good so it basically is it says it has cedar wood and orange essential oils in here and i cannot wait to use these i was gonna open this right now just to smell it but how i told you guys my nose was fine like it's starting to i don't know if it's from the perfume but i'm starting to well y'all saw me blowing my nose <laughs> I don't want to smell it basically so anyway but this was only 3 dollars 
I think this was more exciting than the salt shakers and what I'm about to show you guys. I didn't find a lot today. I basically went to see if they restocked any purses because I went to the same one where I found those, all of those bags. I went there last weekend and today I was like, okay, I'm going there again because they had so much, but they today they were dry. Y'all, I found, and I have two, I'm not going to open them both, but look at what I found. They were next to the salt and pepper shakers. It's a My Melody strawberry mug and the inside is pink. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How cute are these going to be together? Like, hello, besties for rusties. Okay. With their little strawberries. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I got two, like I said. One's for Janine, one's for me. These were... Oh girl you lying did i pay that much for this mug how much y'all think this was is it because it's saying real license this was 6.99 i'm used to paying like 3.99 4.99 5.99 but 6.99 okay take my extra dollar silver buffalo anyway it's by the brand silver buffalo and yeah it is uh san rio license but yeah i don't care it could have been 9.99 i would have bought it it's so cute and that is it for that trip. I literally found those two mugs, the salt shakers and the, the Epsom salts. And that was enough. That was enough. I was happy. And yeah. Okay, I have these two smaller items. These were both sent to me in a PR. Um, I believe these are from Elemis, but I have to double check. Let me um, pop these babies open. Okay, so they said, they told me they were sending a couple of things. I think they just split it into different, I don't know why they, some companies do that instead of sending a box with everything. They send these little mailers, but okay. Yeah, they're all from Elemis. So these are the items that they sent. Oh, my chin's itching. Um, this is their superfood facial oil, hydrating facial oil. And I've only used um, a cleansing balm and a face cream by Elemis before. And I do like their uh, products. So um, hydrating facial oil, this is what it looks like. I'm definitely going to test these out. Um, massage three to four drops over the face and neck. Um, I guess you could use it day or night. It doesn't say. It's a lightweight facial oil. Replenishes and hydrates. Leaves skin feeling supple and smooth. Promoting a radiant glow. Yes, we love that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't say nighttime or daytime. So I guess you can use it whenever. Um, I like to use facial oil sometimes at night so they could like sit in my skin and hydrate it and then in the morning wash it off, you know. So next they sent over a midnight facial superfood. I haven't heard of this one. Replenishing sleeping cream. Oh, that sounds good. Hold on. I like sleeping creams. Um, I've used the... What's that brand that we put the lip stuff, the Laneige sleeping mask? I've used them before for a sleeping mask. So, Midnight Facial. This is what it looks like, the little jar. And it smells good. It's just like a little cream. And I'm sure, wash your face and apply... Uh, a layer is what it's gonna say something to that effect uh, apply to cleanse try skin every night um, as an overnight facial that leaves thirsty skin feeling silky soft and replenished with moisture it sounds good and then lastly 
they sent over and this is what I've used I haven't had a big bottle like this I had a little small sample this is their pro collagen marine cream with SPF 30 I'm the most excited about this because it's time right now for your SPF I mean you should wear it all the time including winter um, but I clearly don't I'm just gonna be honest um, I'm trying to get better at it um, but definitely right now when we have 90 and 100 degree weather I have been really using my SPF that's actually the one that I've been using that's the La Roche Posay um, double repair face moisturizer and it has SPF 30 in it as well I really like this one so that's what I've been using but I do um, I did use this like I said before I had like a small bottle that I think I got as a free sample or I got it in the Ipsy or Boxy Charm one of those but this stuff's really good I just don't know if the one I think I just had the pro collagen marine cream I don't know if it had the sunscreen in it and I think they have a pink one of these I don't know if it's rose in it or what but I think they have another one. Oh, are these refillable jars like this whole little tub just came out that is cool so anyway, you can take the little thing off. I think this is like a like a re recyclable packaging. Which if it is, that is awesome. Fenty Skin has something like that. I bought a body butter and it says that you can reuse the packaging. So this says anti-wrinkle day cream. Oh, anti-wrinkle? For fine lines and wrinkles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So like I said. I did use this before. But I had such a small thing. It's really hard to like judge something. And know if it's actually working for something like. Your wrinkles or something. When you only have a small amount. So I'll start using this every day. And let you guys know. What I think about it. And yeah guys. I believe that's everything. For today's haul. I have my ipsy but you guys know the ipsy takes a long time to show you guys because it's like several packages in one and it's for june and it's only today's i think the 13th or something like that so i need to get this video up and edit it which is going to take a long time so i'll show you guys my uh june ipsy in another june video basically is what i'm trying to say so yeah what do you guys think of the haul did i uh do good did i did i do good did i spend my money good um let me know what you guys think about this like is it worth the 300 dollars? it's like i know we're all crazed over bows and anything with a bow we want it but for 300 dollars, like mm, i don't know i don't know i'm trying to justify it because it is so cute but i just feel like I don't know I wish it was a little bit bigger also like it's small I do like small shoulder bags but I can't even get this on my shoulder barely like that's a tight fit like I don't know this definitely has to be a handbag I don't know guys I really don't so let me know I know y'all are gonna be like if you're indecisive then that means you should return it but did y'all get it are y'all keeping it like are you how are you gonna wear it <laughs> let me know okay 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 all right i love you guys i hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe if you're new and yeah hopefully i will be back on sunday sorry again for missing the video but i had a family event um family barbecue i had family in town and i went over to my uncle's house and we we're out later than i am intended and i drank a little too much yeah and i was tired when i got home but anyway I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.